What's going on? Mike Newman here with Inside Natural Bodybuilding. We're at the uh, pre-judging is taking place at the IFPA Pro International, held in conjunction with the NEMBF KC Classic, biggest show of the year so far, over 190 competitors, a lot of electricity in the air. Terry McBee, of course, has not competed all this year, but she's at the show handing out trophies. She'll be back next year. More word on that later. But for today, let's talk about the competitors in the show. Terry, let's talk about your sister first. Uh, we were both out in the audience watching Patricia. Uh, Patricia. Certainly the most amount of muscle on stage. Probably going to walk away with the winner, but she's got her work cut out for her because Carrie Bullen was looking quite yeah, conditioned. I was really surprised. I mean, really yeah. surprised with her. I, I, I hadn't seen her before, but... yeah. Well, she typically, was, Patricia doesn't have any competition. Come no, show. and I was really surprised because I thought, I was like, wow, she actually has some competition. Yeah, You know, exactly. I mean, it's the best that I've seen yeah. for a while. And it might be good for Patricia because maybe she'll be like, man, if I'm going to have girls like this up against me, I better, you know, hit harder in the gym because I might light a fire under after this show. But I do believe Patricia, she'll walk away as the winner today because I don't think Carrie's got enough muscle, but she certainly has the conditioning. Right. But the judges certainly compared them both for a while this morning. They, yeah. they took their time comparing them. What did you think about it overall, though? Yeah, I mean, I think... Um, Carrie was definitely a lot leaner. Yeah. Not a lot, but, you know, yeah. I mean, she definitely stood out. I mean, right. her glutes were just like Yeah, crazy. she's going to have to bring her back up. Like, from the back, I think, it was I think, clear. Yeah, I think that her back, I think she needs to work on her lats. Right. Um, definitely Just for, lats. you know, the symmetry overall. But, uh, I mean, her conditioning was, was Outstanding, right you know, and she's with Team Wilson, BB.com. Check them out. And Patricia was with Lane Norton, so it's going to be a battle yeah. of Cliff Wilson and Lane Norton again. But, yeah, Patricia's come out on top of the muscle she's got, and we'll see what happens there. Let's talk about your fourth, Taylor, the figure girls. Did you happen to see the figure pros out there? I did see some of them, yeah. Okay, I mean, there was a lot girls. of new faces. I got some I'm notes really... here. Yeah, well, Susan Bishop. Uh, did you get uh, Umo Collins? Uh -huh. Uma Collins, how you say her name. Uh, yeah, girls like uh, competitor number 45. Uh, Thailand Rashawn. Were there a couple girls that stood out to you, or what did you think about the the short lineup? Because that's typically, isn't that your class, the short yeah, girls? Yeah, there was there was a new girl, Christina. She really stood out to me. Is she Christina. on there? Yeah, Christine Marie Ray yes. from Bellevue, Nebraska. I, have, I hadn't seen her before, but she really stood out to me. Okay. I think she had a lot of a lot of muscle, and her symmetry looked really good. And I think that her um, her posing was really was really okay. good too. So she stood so out. So she really stood out in my mind. So you were quite and impressed. Then, yeah, I was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she kind of reminded me. She were, she reminded, you know, she looked like me. Of you. That's what everybody keeps saying. So that's the girl they're talking about. That reminds right. me of Terry McBee. That's, that's, okay, that's who they're talking about. Well, I didn't know that okay. people had said that. But, yeah, no, when I looked at that. her, I thought, well, she, she reminded me of, you know, what I look like on stage. So. Okay. Good stuff. And what kind of look do you think you bring up to the stage that compared to the girls typically don't bring up, like the more muscled physique? Well, yeah, I mean, she looked, she looked, yeah, I mean, she had a lot of good symmetry. Yeah. I think that her, you know, her legs and her arms, are, you know, just overall right. had a lot of, had a lot of, you know, mass. Yeah. So she stood out in my mind. Absolutely. But she also, you know, had a really good, you know, ab plate. So, yeah, I mean, to me, she looked good in her posing. So you think she might walk away with a class win then in the short lineup? I think so. Okay. I think she's going to get it. And then, um. Umo, of course, always stands out really yeah. good. And then Susan, because of her conditioning, um, she just tends to be a little bit on Susan the Bishop from yes. Omaha, Nebraska, yes. so that could be your She's, top three She doesn't right have there. as much muscle mass, but her conditioning and symmetry, I think, it looks really good, too. Okay. Yeah, I'm not as well-versed in the figure girls as Terry here is. That's why I drug Terry into this interview, <laughs> and Kaylin actually got her, because Terry's more versed in the figure competitive lineup than I am. I cover the pro men bodybuilders, typically. But that's like one of my favorites in the figure talk class, Alexandra Ellis, uh, Lori Piper. She's a Lane Norton disciple. Anybody else in the pro figure talk class stand out to you? Well, of course, Alex did. Yeah. I, I think she really stood out. Um, who else was next to her? Um, Stephanie, Stephanie Casella. I'll tell you what, yeah, Stephanie Casella. Uh, she looks really, really well too. I like, her. I like her. I think she needs to um, to work on her posing, especially she does. in my in my view. I think it's her it's her um, her side pose. Well, with you she being looks, one of the best posers on the market, you know, what do you typically do to improve your posing? What have you done? I know it's well, too, I mean, you that. watch watch video of yourself against everybody else. Yeah, of course, pictures help. Right. I mean, I've improved uh, a lot on my posing just from you know the previous year. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, eh, I don't like my arms flaring out that yeah, much yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just worked on you know, I mean, just looking looking more relaxed. Yeah. You know, effortless. Okay. Is, is the key. And when you're up there and you're. <laughs> Your hands are like this. Yeah, especially in the you know pro what I mean? lineup. It doesn't look effortless, you know. Yeah, you don't want to be on a pro stage and uh, make it look like you haven't been up there before. As a pro, you want to look right. like a polished pro. I mean, pro, I, I, mean I know nerves and things like yeah. that always kind of play. Could you know. take place. Right. Who else do we got? And so a couple competitors are still. I got my notes here in the iPhone. You can't go wrong with these things. Competitor 43 and 48, Jennifer Miller and Alicia Johnson. I actually got an interview with Alicia Johnson earlier. Uh, are those new names to you? 
uh, Jennifer Miller is. Alicia, I've seen her before. Yeah. I think, was this her first it's her pro first pro show. show. Yeah, she got a pro she card for Boss Classic she has a lot, last year. She, has a lot, she carries a lot of muscle, too, so yeah. she kind of stood out in okay. my mind, too. Yeah, her pro debut, and she uh, got a pro card at the Bluffs Classic last year. She said if she uh, qualifies, she'll do the Yorton Cup as well. Uh -huh. So, And that brings us into the Yorton Cup. So you're, you're going to, you're, due to injuries, you're not going to compete in the Yorton Cup this year. I know you're devastated by that, but you'll be back next year. Uh, who do you yes. think some of the favorites might be going to the Yorton Cup this year? Well, I mean, obviously Katrina's going to be there. Yeah. She's going to be one of the favorites. I think Chrissy's going to be there this year as well. Some Juski? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, she's going to sure be there. I'm sure she'll be one of the favorites. Yeah. Um, which are Alex. Alex Ellis, Ellis. can't go wrong with that. Yeah, Alex actually said that she wasn't even targeting this show. She's not at her best. She doesn't think. Uh, she's using this as a stepping stone to the Orton Cup. Right. What well, do you think about that? she said she only that? prepped for about six weeks. Six weeks, right. And she looked a little bit softer today than I'm used to seeing her look. But based off some of the placing she's gotten, I can understand why she'd want to come in a little bit softer. Because if you come in too hard, that might dock you some points. But depending on the show and the judges, it might you know help you out as well. She looked a little bit softer than I'm used to seeing her. But she also said it's a stepping stone to the Orton Cup. So she right. knows she's not in her best condition. Well, yeah, like I said, but she'll she be didn't, in her best she didn't prepare as, as long as she probably typically would have. But. Yeah. Now, at a pro at a pro show like the Pro International, this ain't a no-joke pro show. I mean, as a pro, you should always come in at your best, but what do you think about using the show as a stepping stone? You, you know you're coming in a little bit less than your best, but still good enough to probably, you know, hopefully win. I don't, I don't, I mean, see, I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah. I think it kind of gets you in that, in that mode, that frame, you know, that framework of where, you, you know, you're, you're starting on your track and, you know, kind of motivates you. Now, what would it do if you came in looking less than your best, using the show as a stepping stone, and as a result, you end up getting second or third place when you know if you would have came in at your best, you would have gotten first? Doesn't that do a little something mentally to you, that you lost points and lost placings because you know you didn't come in well, looking your best? Well, I mean, but, but then again, you knew ahead of time. Yeah. You know? Okay. Well, so you kind of have to prepare yourself for that, too. It's really going to count in the Orton Cup. Are you planning I mean, are you, are you coming in because you want to win? Everybody wants to win, but are you coming in because you're just trying to prepare yourself and, you know, get yourself motivated and... You know what I mean? It's kind of the whole process. It kind of does help you lean out. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that was uh, the case for her. She wanted to kind of get lean, stay lean, and right. use this show to kind of get her on track and keep her on track for the Orton Cup. And that's when it really counts the most. Right. You know, that happened to somebody like Cleveland Thomas right. last year. He didn't come in looking his best against Parry Pro, but he it all paid off at the Orton Cup later on down the road. I mean, for me, I always feel like my first show of the year that I don't yeah. look my best. Okay. And and it's because you don't. <laughs> you but know? somebody, yeah, sometimes if you're a top pro, you can come in I mean, at you're always, always critical about, about the way you look. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So, I mean, you know, this show last year versus Yorton, you know, I mean, I made improvements, which yeah. is going to happen because you've got, you know, so many weeks in between. You're yeah, going to yeah, get yeah. a little bit leaner. Absolutely. Well, October 27th is the Yorton Cup, the Core Nutritionals Yorton Cup Pro World Championships. Check out the YortonCup.com for more information on that show. Are you planning on going to the Yorton Cup this year just to watch? I, I don't have plans on it. Not plans yet. Well, maybe. And what about your sponsor? You got a sponsor now, don't you? Yes. Uh, who's your sponsor? Let's talk about them for real quick. Nutribio. Give them a shout out. Okay, how their products looking out for you. Got to try out their products. They're really yeah. great. Nutribio. Nutribio.com is their website yep. there. And uh, how is your injury? Are you working through it now? You're training? You're back on track with that? 80%? Uh, Where are you at with that? I'd say I'm probably about at 80 to 85%. So you're a little bit further along in the process this time of the year than you thought you would be right. earlier in the year. So you're moving right along right. and you're right I on mean, track. I mean, I I'm still have pain every day, but yeah. it's, not as, it's not as bad. So. What about, uh, do you think maybe after the holidays you'll be right ready to you know, get back into it again or how's the, how's the forecast looking for you yeah far? I mean right now I've been really busy but um, yeah. I do plan on trying to get back in the gym and you know I'm going to have to alter a few things but you know Okay. That's the way it goes. So you know? this could be if something. If it hurts, then don't do it and switch it up. So but. it might be something that doesn't go away, then you just have to work well, through I, it in the yeah. end, huh? I mean, I, I'm hoping that it will. But, yeah. You know. Okay, well, we're looking forward to seeing Terry McBee back on stage. I don't think we've seen the last of Terry McBee and her best days are ahead, that's for sure. I'll keep you guys updated on the latest on Terry McBee in the future. Just wanted to grab her for a rundown of the figure pro lineup here at the Pro International. She's handing out trophies tonight, so be looking for her on the uh, videos. Be the awards lady. Absolutely. And she'll <laughs> make a good one at that. So until next time, Terry McBee, top pro. Mike Newman, Inside Natural Bodybuilding. We're out of here. Thanks for watching.